All right, shalom, shalom, shalom. You know, first and foremost, want to give all and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. You know, and this is this is um this video basically going into um the heathen know us more than we know ourselves. Right, these other nations. When I say other nations, I'm talking about other other races of people outside of the blacks, Latinos, and Native Indians. They know us more than we know ourselves. Yeah, I know I said this a while back. Oh, I think I said this the other day, but it's a video on YouTube on how to sell, um, how to sell to the Negro, and I think it came out in like 1956. It's called How to Sell to the Negro. So they study you, bro. They study you. They know more about you than you know about yourself. Stop walking around thinking that the other other races uh, don't know you. They know you more than you know yourself. They know about your history more than you know about your history. They know what you like more than what you like. Right? So, let me get this verse to prove that. The second Maccabees chapter 8 and verse 36. Thus he that took upon him to make good to the Romans their tribute by means of the captives in Jerusalem told, uh, told abroad. That the Jews had God to fight for them, and therefore they could not be hurt because they followed the laws that He gave them. And I'm, so the Bible basically saying, um, the, the other nations know that when we keep our laws, statutes, and commandments, that brothers, that brothers on the highways and byways tell not people to keep put the port down. And I'm um, actually make a video on Second Maccabees chapter seven. Tonight, Lord willing, if it's other Lord will, I'm going to make a video on 2 Maccabees chapter 7 going into account of Eleazar, you know, an elder that they tried to make eat pork. But he didn't do it. He said, I'm not, I'm not finna eat pork because that's against the laws of my God. And they made, they wanted, and why would they, why was they trying to make us eat pork? Because they wanted us to, um, they basically wanted us to um, denounce the name of the Lord. They get off on that. They like when we denounce the name of the Lord. They want us to do that. They like when we are, they like when we go and buy cigarettes from their liquor stores. They like when we they like when we walking around with our pants sagging, smoking weed, whoring our women out. They like that because they understand that the Most High is not gonna not fighting for us because we're not under his we're not keeping his laws, statutes, and commandments. Let me read that. It said, uh, the the Jews had God to fight for them. And therefore, they could not be hurt. So we can't be hurt when we under the Most High God. That's why we tell our people to come and come back to Him and keep these laws, statutes, and commandments. Because you don't understand. You don't understand when you under these laws, statutes, and commandments. Nobody can hurt you. Nobody not going to mess with you. You literally got the only true God, living God, on your side. You got Him on your side fighting for you. Nobody's going to be able to mess with you. And back then, these other nations. The other races of people, they understood that. They understood if we're keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of God, that we can't be messed with. We can't be touched. He is our protection. But they understand that, so that's why they try to keep us in sin. They try to keep us farther away from these commandments and laws of the Most High God. They try to keep us as far away uh, that we can from them. So that's why so much wickedness, that's why in the media and in the music is so much wickedness being pushed because they understand that, hey, because they read, they read this book. They don't read this book. They don't read this book front and back, man. They already know the prophecy that's going to come to pass, but they're going to try to fight against the prophecy. But they understand the prophecy that's going to come to pass. And they also understand that if we come back to these laws and commandments, that his rulership is over. So that's why the media... Um, the, through the TV, through the music. That's why so much wickedness being pushed. So he's trying to keep us as far as way, farther. He's trying to keep us uh, not knowing who he is and keep us far away as he can from our laws and commandments so our, so our God won't fight for us, so we can stay at the bottom, so they can continue to put their foot on our neck. That's what they're doing. And this is biblical. He just said that he know that, therefore, they cannot be hurt if they're keeping the laws. Because they follow the laws that he gave them. So it's very important to follow the laws and commandments. It's very important to keep the high holy days that the Lord gave us. Not Christmas, not Thanksgiving, not Easter, not Valentine's Day. I'm talking about the high holy days that he gave us in the Bible. I'm talking about those high holy days that he gave us in the Bible, man. Those are, those are the days we have to keep. Feast of Tabernacles. Feast of Dedication. Destruction of Nicanor. Day of Atonement. Them, some, them, only a few of them. Only a few days that we have to keep. 
You know what I'm saying? So um, let me get let me get this. I'm, I'm, I'm also prove again that they know that if we're not keeping the commandments or doing, they understand that if we in sin, that they, they gonna automatically win because you know, you know, once we in sin, it's like the Most High ain't gonna fight for us. So he's gonna if we're not doing what he's saying to do, he's gonna allow the other nations to overcome us because of our wickedness, and that's all through our history. But it's Judith, the book of Judith in the Apocrypha, chapter five, verse twenty. Um, but now, therefore, my Lord and governor, if there be any error in this people and they sin against their God, let us consider that this shall be their ruin and let us go up and we shall overcome them. So they understand that, amen, if, we, if they sin against their God, we're going to continue to rule over them. They can march as much as they want to. They can protest as much as they want to. They can riot as much as they want to. Talking about change, change, change. We can put a, 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 a black governor over them, but we're still going to be over them. They understand that because we are still in sin. We are not coming back to the Most High God and His commandments. So therefore, they're going to continue to rule over us. And we're going to continue to be at the bottom of the barrel. They understand that. They know that. Since the beginning of the time, they know that. They still know that to this day. The elites, the Rockefellers, the Rothschilds, you know, them Jewish people, they understand that. They know that. They know that. That's why the Jewish man is over the music industry. Why do you think it's so much wickedness being pushed in the music industry? Kill, kill, kill. Why is it why why is it a such thing as drill music? Why is naked, why is women naked twerking on music videos? Why is a dude walking around with a blunt throwing money, throwing ones on women naked? Why are they allowing that to happen on these music videos? Because they want to destroy our people. They want our people to stay in sin. They don't want our people to wake up and realize we're the Israelites. They want us to think we niggas. That's all we see on TV. We think they, want, they, want a woman, they want our women to think we hoes. That's all we see on TV. You know what I'm saying? So that, that's, that's what's going on. So they know that. They understand that, that if we sin, stay in, in our wickedness, that they're going to be over us. But, now verse 21. But if there be no iniquity in their nation... Let my Lord not pass by, lest their Lord defend them. So the Lord is like, I, so they understand this too. But, and that's why, that's why I say, the so-called white man fear us waking up, man. They understand that because they understand that their time is almost up. That the Lord our God is going to be fighting for us. So he basically telling them like, hey man, if, they, if, if it ain't no iniquity in his people, meaning that we keeping the commandments, you know what I'm saying? We worshiping the most high God, we keeping the Sabbath day, we keeping the high holy days. He said, if it ain't no iniquity in them people, Pass by them. Don't even try to make war with them. And he said, uh, let their Lord defend them and their God be for them. And we become a reproach before all the world. So they understand that, hey, bro, if them Israelites keeping the law, statutes, commandments, bro, pass by them. Do not try to make war with them because their God is going to defend them. And we already know how, how the Most High God get down. All you got to do is read the book of Exodus and get into what he did to Egypt. We ain't have to move. We ain't have to do nothing. The Lord fought for us. We held our peace. Like the scriptures say, the Lord going to, roughly paraphrasing, the Lord going to fight for us and we're going to hold our peace. That's exactly what happened. We held our peace. The Lord done did. The Lord can do more damage than we can. He can send plagues, right? He can bug people out, send the angels down on them to kill them. You know what I'm saying? They understand that. So that's why, they're, they, that's why they, um, their job on this earth is to keep us in wickedness, man. Let me get this last verse. I don't know what time it is. This song said 80. This, now, this song said 83. Now, this is another reason why they took crafty counsel against our people. This song 83 and 1. I mean, 83, Psalms 83 and 2. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up thy head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consorted against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. So that's what basically what they happened. You know, all the other races of people, they came together and they thought about how can they destroy us, man? Because all the other races, they all against us, man. They all against the Israelites. They all came together. Arab man came together with a white man. Then the East Indian man came in. Then the J Japanese man came in. Then the African man was in there. You know what I'm saying? They all came up with plans on how to destroy the Israelites. How can we keep them far away from their God as we can? So what we're going to do? They ain't that thinking about it. They, they probably got their notepads out. They plotting on this. We don't even know what's going on. And they still do that. They, they still do that to this day behind closed doors. We're thinking everything cool. 
We thinking everybody's everything straight. We ain't even thinking about what they doing. But meanwhile, they behind closed doors plotting on us. How can we destroy these people? How can we have these people not knowing they Israelites so we can stay in rulership? Because they understand if if we if we in rulership, they, where they gonna be at? Destroyed or servants and handmaids? They understand that, but they ain't trying to get that up. That's why they gonna try to fight against Yahweh Shah his angels when he come back. That's why they're going to try to do that because they're not finna, they don't want to give this place up, but it's going to happen. So they came up with ideas on how to destroy our people. That's why it's a liquor store in every corner in the hood. You don't see that in the white neighborhoods or in the uh, uh, Chinese neighborhoods. It's only in our neighborhoods, the black and Latinos. That's why they push pork all over the TV. That new bacon, that new baconator. They got a, a bacon, uh, bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich. They always coming out with something something new with pork in it. Knowing the health benefits that come with pork. Knowing that the Most High God said not to eat that. They understand that. They know everything that the Lord told us not to do. They're going to push it. Homosexuality. What they doing? They're pushing it. You can't even watch a good show no more without seeing homosexuality. They always got to throw it in there. Interracial marriage. The Lord said don't do that. But what they pushing? Interracial marriage. On, 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 on commercials. On cartoons, on movies, that's they pushing it. The Lord said, "Don't defile your temple. Don't, don't defile your temple." You know what I'm saying? Cause don't defile your temple. What what they what they selling in these? What, what are they selling in these corner stores? Stuff to defile your temple. Why are you? They selling cigarettes. Why do you sell cigarettes? We seen the commercials that they have of cigarettes when the dude talking with a hole in his throat, but yet you're still selling it. That don't make any sense. A lot of these stores don't even check your age. They sell. They want. They they want to see how people destroy it so bad. They don't even check your age to see if you're 21. They just gonna give it to you because they know you're gonna go kill. You. They know you're gonna destroy yourself and do something crazy. They just gonna give it to you. And they care about that money more than they care about you. They don't care about you. You know what I'm saying? So that's why. Um, But yeah, that's what that's what's going on, man. It's it's a plot against our people since the beginning of time. It's been a plot to uh, it's it's been a plot, you know what I'm saying, to destroy our people, bro. You gotta wake up, bro. Wake up and just wake up and see. Look at the look at the look at the uh the state your people in, man. You will see how we've been destroyed, crack in the hoods in the eighties. Why they only put it in our hoods? Why they only put why they only put the crack in the black and Latino hoods? Because they want us to stay as far as we can from these laws and commandments. They want us to be bugged out of our mind. They want us to not know nothing. They don't want us to read because they understand when we read, we come back to our nationality. We start wearing our fringes. We start loving our brother. They understand that we're going to change the world, man. Even going back to a, even going back to money wise, imagine all of us start keeping these holidays, these, these Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter. They're not going to make no money. Cause we be the main buyers on these holidays, so they're not gonna make no money if we if we decide that man we're not gonna do that, bro. They're gonna lose their mind if all our brothers said we're gonna stop playing the NBA, we're gonna make our own league. The NBA gonna be dead, no money. Same with NFL, no money, nothing. Baseball, no money. Soccer, no money, cause they're my people too. Northern Kingdom, Hispanics, Puerto Ricans, Cubans, Dominicans, right? All them my people. So. They're not going to make no money, but we got to make a stand, man. We got to come back to our God and keep these commandments because we're not going to beat them physical, man. We're not going to beat them. We're not going to beat them. We're not going to beat them with a with a uh, physical fight because they got militaries. They got the police department on their side. This is their world. So that's why we need the Lord to fight for us, man. We can't do it by ourselves. This is why we need a savior to come and save us because we can't fight them right now in the state that we're in by ourselves. We need the Most High God. They know what I'm saying. Swipe this out. To swipe this out. To swipe it clean. You know what I'm saying? So, Lord willing, this video is helpful just to, you know what I'm saying, to keep our brothers and sisters' head on a swivel, man. And just to remember that you are a target in their eyes. And they are plotting against you. Don't think that you just, they don't, don't, don't think that you just walking around, they don't see, they're not worried about you because you ain't famous, you don't got a lot of money. No, they're they trying to destroy you. They up there behind closed doors throwing curses on us, man. They doing witchcraft on us, trying to, praying to Satan. To uh, allow us to, to uh, they praying to Satan, hoping that we follow the truth. 
They praying on our downfall, literally. So we got to fight back, man. We got to fight back with this book. So this is a sword. This is book is spiritual, man. We're going to slice these demons, man. You know what I'm saying? So Lord Witness will edify. Keep your head up, man. Keep fighting a good fight. Keep enduring. Brothers and sisters, if you didn't know, you black Latinos and Native Indians are indeed the biblical Israelites that the Bible been talking about since the beginning of time. Come back to your God and keep his commandments, man, because you're powerful that way. Shalom.